Hi everyone, I'm JD from Lower Bound Journals. Welcome back to my channel. I am excited to share with you some ways you can use book pages in junk journals. And this all came about because I went to the op shop a while ago now, just looking for books that I could make journals with in terms of the covers. So I was only looking for the covers, didn't really care about the pages. And that way I could strip the pages and I could just grab the covers and that's what I've done turn these into my journal covers but what that left me with was a whole bunch of pages and I didn't want to throw them out I wanted to make use of them because they were all books that had something some sort of meaning or they had some sort of font that I liked or the subject matter was something that I connected with so I gave myself the challenge then to use every single one of those book pages and this is what is left from those books that I just shared with you. Um, <laughs> I've used all of the Jane Eyre pages and this is all that's left of this book and this is all that's left of these two books that I got with this cover here and this is yeah what I came up with. <laughs> um, another book I got later on was this book it was a vintage botanical book and I, I've used most of the pages um, and I got this one differently. So the other ones I got just for the covers. This one I got just for the pages. So I knew I wanted to work with the pages. And I'm also in this video going to share ideas of using, you know, those pages with text. So a lot of the time it's easy to find ways to use pages that are decorative like this. If it's got a beautiful image, if it's got a lovely... Um, illustration you can you know just cut out the book page and slap it on the cover and of course fold them in half and then you've got your pages in the journal so they're pretty self-explanatory easy ways to use those you can fussy cut images and you know go to town using those types of book pages but when it comes to you know plain text this type of page here is what I have come up with. So the first way is obviously just to use the um, pages as book pages, uh, as journal pages. So you can see here from this book, I have kept some of the pages to use in this journal. And I like doing that. With each of the journals that I make, if I'm going to use the cover, I like using some of the pages just to preserve that book and celebrate it and honor it. So that's the easiest way, not much really to that one. The second way that I love to use them is for covers. So I've got two examples here. One example is you can just, you know, put down <laughs> one whole page and if it's got an image on there, you can just use that as is. But I'll show you these ones here. I have put down a, a whole page from that botanical book and I'm not going to leave it like that. I mean, I could if I wanted, but that's just my base. And then I might stick some sort of image on top or I might collage over it. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with these two. Um, so that is an idea. Other idea is just to collage on top of it. This one I did pair it with some vintage music paper, but here you can see book page. There's book page. There's book page. Book page there. Again on the back, I've patchworked different types of book pages. Let me just let my cat in. Hello, sweetie. <laughs> okay, Kiani wants to say hello, see what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, so you can patchwork different types of book pages together and create a wonderful journal. I love this method so much that I created three collage journal covers like this. And it looks great with all the vintage neutral papers working together. And you could definitely do that just using... Um, book pages and then you could add you know a sticker or an image over the top as well if you wanted but you don't need to do that it looks nice just as is so another way to use book pages is to create envelopes I used to love doing this when I first got into junk journals I would just spend hours <laughs> and days making these envelopes so these ones I use Jane Eyre book pages and you just fold them. I should give you examples, shouldn't I? Okay, that would be good. I do have tutorials on how I make all of these. 
um, so feel free to check those out on my channel. But basically, to make the envelopes, you get a book page, fold it up here, and there's your flap there. You trim up the edges, and then you could use glue. I did use glue in the past before I had a sewing machine, but now I love the stitching, and I just sew down here, down here, and up there to make my envelope. This one I've decorated with some napkin, and I love how that looks. So I've got a few of those, and just to show you different napkin. Depending on the napkin, you can see the words through the napkin, which is awesome. Another way is just to collage it. So here are some other um, envelopes that are made out of book pages, but this time you can definitely see, you know, the book page. And I've just collaged it with some more book page here, added a label and a stamp there, a faux stamp, and that's quite fun. I mean, you could just make your envelope bases and then decorate them however you want. Um, another idea, well, well, hang on, here is another envelope idea, but this time, instead of making the envelope yourself, you are getting a pre-made envelope, you know, just a store-bought envelope or junk mail envelope, and I cover it with a book page. This one I've used vintage French book page, and for this one I have stamped on it with um, a frame stamp and a key which I quite enjoy and look you just transformed a whole book page like that and with my botanical book pages I'll maybe stamp like a flower on top instead so really really simple of course you could collage on top of an envelope with book pages um, and embellish it that way a similar method is to use bags so these are just you know bags that I get from the store and you can get bags in all different sizes. Same with the envelopes, all different sizes. I have just stuck on a book page. And then again, to decorate, I have stamped on top, this time with some butterflies. But you could definitely collage or add some stickers, add all your different ephemera on there. Um, the sky's the limit with how we can decorate, right? <laughs> but how you can just take a simple book page and transform it. I love that. Uh, another idea is to make pockets. So similar to your uh, envelopes, you're just using the book page to form a pocket. So I'll just show you that. You can make pockets of any size, depending on the size of your book page. You could make a giant pocket like that, just glue or sew down the edges. And you could, again, just leave it if you want, if it's got something nice on the front. Uh, or you could collage over it, uh, embellish it like I have here. Um, and you've got wonderful floating pocket. You could even just get the book page, cut it to size and sew or glue it to your book page or your journal page and that way you've got a page sewn onto, sorry, a, a page pocket sewn onto your journal page. Otherwise you could, sometimes I get my pocket and I'll sew it onto the page so you've got this double pocket type of thing, one here and then a secret one behind. Um, but you could do either way. Pockets, wonderful idea. And just give you a look at how I've decorated these. Just really simple, using a label and this beautiful piece here, faux stamp. Love that you can kind of journal on there too, if you want. And yeah, you could either paper clip that in as a floating pocket, or like I said, glue it or sew it to the actual page. Uh, moving on to the next idea, you can make tags. So. I've already shown how I made these as well, but basically I used manila folder for these ones as my base. And for these, I have just stuck on the book page right onto the top of it. And I believe I used, was it, I think it was the Heroes book that I used for this one. So I just like the font of this one, so I used the whole thing and didn't need to cover it up or collage and just decorated them. And love how they turned out. This is a different type of tag, similar idea, but I've used Jane Eyre book pages in the background for that. So you can see the different color tones of that book page. It's more cream, and I think this is a bigger font, and I just really, really enjoyed the font of that one. So lovely. And the next idea is to make journal cards. So again, I have used a manila folder for the back of it, so you can still write on the back. And I've shown different methods of using it. So you can collage and patch different types of um, book page, or you can use the same type of book page and it still makes a wonderful background. 
or you could use different types of book page. This one I've used different types and I've put tissue paper over the top just to mute it down a little bit. Um, whereas these ones, they're all using the same type of book page from the same book. These are from different books and each gives a lovely effect. I like both. Here's a different type of journal card. So this one shows that you don't need to use, um, like just lay down, there's different ways. You can lay down the full book page as a background. You can collage using the book pages on the background, or you can piece together a whole other background and just use a little bit of book page. So this one, I loved using the book page at, on top and because it's a bearded irises, that this flower sort of reminded me of the purple iris, so I put that there. And I've used the botanical book page for this one. You can see plants. And yeah, even that is just lovely. I have used just some scrap music paper in the background. You could use any scrap paper that you have. And I don't know, I just really love the simplicity of these ones. These ones really I enjoy a lot. Um, and then finally, I'll just show you some master boards that I've made. So what they start out as, some of the tags, is a master board. And you can definitely use your book pages to make as many master boards as you want. In fact, I used all of these pages to make so many. I've lost count of actually how many master boards I made from these. And it was just therapeutic. If I didn't know what to create, if I was like in a creative rut um, and I didn't know what to do, then I would just collage master boards because I could figure out later on how I'd use it, whether I turn it into tags, journal cards, or you could even cut them into your um, cover size and stick that on top of a cover and decorate it that way. That's another way you can make covers. Um, but yeah, this is, I thought I'd show you two different uh, master boards that I've made. This, these ones I made using all different types of book pages. But again, you could use, if you only have one book, you can just use the one book page type and um, the idea for that one is you can turn it upside down, diagonal, sideways, and it creates that interest. Um, but if you have lots of different types of book pages, it's really fun when you have different fonts and when you have different um, sizes of writing and different colours, tones of the book pages. And yeah, I'm not sure how I'm going to use these ones yet. Maybe some more tags, maybe some more journal cards, or maybe I will turn it into a cover. Um, and you know put maybe a focal image on top or something so yeah I hope that this video gave you some inspiration if you have a lot of book pages I mean a lot of us as junk journalists we tend to have a lot of leftover book pages when we you know stripping covers um, and we just left over with these um, blocks of text on the page like what do we do with those so I hope this gave you some ways to use them decorate them um, there are other pocket ways, ways to make pockets out of them too. Um, you can fold them in different ways. For example, um, I have some over here that I haven't finished yet, but this just shows you, you can slip in something there and then there's a pocket behind as well when you attach it to the page or it could be a floating pocket. But another idea is, like I would have done this bigger if I knew I was going to do a three pocket, a tri pocket. So then you have a tuck spot here, here, and here. Um, and you know, there's so many different ways you can fold this over and have a pocket there. You can fold a corner over and have a pocket there. And you just have fun. Like sometimes when I first got it started into junk journals, I would just sit down um, if I had a few hours to spare and I would just get a whole bunch of book pages and experiment with folding the pages in different ways, different sizes, um, different sides, angles, making triangle pockets. And yeah, that's how I came up with that um, video called how to make book page pockets, I think it was. Um, and just came up with a whole bunch of different ways. And there's so many other ways you can and lots of tutorials out there. So if you're wanting even more inspiration, I'm sure you can find lots of pocket ideas in particular. Um, but yeah, hope this was helpful. Let me know if there's anything that you are wanting to try now that you've seen this or let us know as well what is your favourite way to use book pages. <laughs> Alright guys, hope you're doing really well and be sure to journal your life because your stories matter. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!
A big thank you to my beautiful patrons who supported me in November. I hope you absolutely loved all of the extras this month. And if you would like to support me in December and get access to extra videos and printables, behind the scenes updates and first access to any of my creations, the link is down below in the description box. The links are also down there to all of my journaling courses. The Reflections journaling course is running all through December if you would like to document your year for 2022. And if you would like to support my book fundraiser, the link is there to my GoFundMe page as well.